Ladies, gentlemen, and everyone in between, I'm Burning Dogface, and I'd like to welcome you to Let's Play Aperture Tag, the Paint Gun Testing Initiative. This is a mod that was released in 2014 for the 2011 puzzle game Portal 2, and its claim to fame, as I understand it, is that it entirely replaces the portal gun with a new gadget that dispenses the special paints they introduced in Portal 2. Before we begin, I'd like to mention that this is going to be a blind LP. I did step into the very first area in order to get a reading on the frame rate and audio levels, but other than that, everything we're about to see is going to be new to me. I'm going to play the game for the first time ever, and you guys get to come along for the ride. Here's hoping we all enjoy ourselves. Now if my controller would just respond... Hmm... Pardon me a moment. Sorry about that, I'm not actually sure what went wrong there. Live demo, folks! <laughs> uh, so without further ado... Let's play Aperture Tag. And welcome to the Paint Gun Testing Initiative. You have been in hibernation for... Nine, 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 nine. Uh, that doesn't seem right. Well, it doesn't really matter. Please leave the restroom whenever you are ready. Hmm. We're off to a fantastic start, I see. Ugh. Why... I read in your file that you like nice, long, warm showers in the morning. But it's time to begin to test, regardless of how you smell. Smelly human. I didn't get that line though when I was testing. I know that bed might look comfy. But we've got much to do, so please exit your room. Well, that's one way of uh, demanding it. Oh, screw you, I'm just gonna sit right here. What was the crouch button again? Hold B, that's right. On my flat ass chair. Hey, future BDF here, I just wanted to interject because I wanted to share something with you guys. In that opening cutscene, you can actually look around during the in-engine bits, but something very strange happens with the camera if you do it during that very first one of the elevator appearing. Something like this. I haven't the slightest idea why that happens, I just thought it was neat and wanted to share it with you guys. Now back to the actual game. Okay, this is silly. Um... Yeah. You know, I don't even know why they even bother giving you a bed. They will drag the test subjects into the stasis chambers anyways. Awesome. So I guess I'm subject 18. Going by these numbers. I say that because, uh, as is kind of par for the course in, uh, this franchise, they, I don't think they're going to tell me anything about who I am. And I clearly don't have a body. Citranium. Was this a thing they had in the other Portal games? I don't know. Nah, fuck that. Oh. 
Yeah, I don't think any of these doors, not even that one, respond to anything. I notice that the doorknobs are clearly just painted on. This is absolutely meant to be an entirely computer-controlled facility, which is perfectly in keeping with Aperture Science, actually. Yeah, okay. Carry on. Fine, I'll push the gigantic red button. Right. After long periods of hibernation, the human body loses some of its strength. So, before we get to the paint gun testing, we should do some warm-up testing. Don't worry, nothing too difficult. Man, I just fell like 35 feet. That was not enough of a warm-up. You know, fun fact, I actually missed that in the testing and thought, you know what, I'll just reset and do my audio testing on that guy's audio. I haven't actually seen the, uh, the paint gun yet. The fuck? Testing hasn't officially begun yet, so we're free to talk without anyone listening in on us. But your profile says you're not an early bird, so I understand if you don't want to talk at the moment. Well, they got that right. I think I'd like the mountain background if I had to be stuck in a, uh, in a fake room for the rest of my life. <laughs> you know, making the best of a bad situation. What the fuck is going on there? Oh, hey. I don't think I've ever seen one of those devices off before. Yeah, I remember this. I don't know why it says tractor beam, because it's really more of a repulsor. Oh yeah, hard to forget this thing. Oh, jeez, I see where this is going. No, I don't. Ugh. Oh, right! I've just remembered that in the Portal games, you're, uh, supposed to be wearing, uh, you know, scientific boots of some kind that mean you can fall from any height and not take impact damage, as long as you land on your feet. Okay, that happened. That probably would have been more understandable if I had uh, successfully fallen into the hole fr directly from the beam, but, you know. Oh, yes, I do remember that. They had the different eras of Aperture in uh, Portal 2. Yes, I remember these lights. I was just informed that even if we are not testing yet, I am not allowed to mention anything that is mentioned in your profile. I hope they don't add this to my profile. Hmm, I wonder what this fiendish puzzle works like. That is not at all what I intended that sentence to be in my head with a hell mouth. Betrayal. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. My mouth decided to betray me. I didn't just throw a word salad for no reason. What? Okay, let's do it from that angle then. Yeah, I wasn't actually sure if there were going to be puzzle- uh, puzzles. Portals in this one. It occurred to me just today that uh, unless they set it up for me, I will not be able to do the thing where I get a good look at my character model by uh, putting portals next to each other. Okay, fine. Uh... Oh. I don't like that. You know, I know that it's a video game, but I always wondered how you could propel yourself out of the, uh, the beam like that, since you're levitating and all. You know, I'm pretty sure that this is a gun. Who's there? Oh. Target lost. I think the model's new, though. Oh, those... Mm, no, it's two guns. My mistake. Can I... Uh -oh. I'll just, you know... 
I don't think it enjoyed that. Oh, why aren't you rotating? That's better. Are you still there? Now no one can follow me. Oh, I'm going to be shot off in that direction, aren't I? Fine, fine. Let's do something less whimsical. Oh. Oh, hey, bullets. Thank you. Okay, fine. Am I very short? I feel closer to the ground than I remember being in these games. Yeah, that's better. That's the opposite of what I... Never mind. Um... It's a cube! I feel like rotating it to a specific angle was a bit... redundant. This really feels like they're just throwing all of the mechanics of Portal 2 at me in a row so I can remind myself, which is handy because I played that game years ago. Yeah, I played that game by myself years ago. The single-player campaign, I mean. And then I returned to it uh, a couple years after that with uh, my good friend Keegan and did the co-op levels. Oh, I see this as being a problem. Oh, hey, that's got to be the thing, right? So I need to do all three of these? Is that what that is? Uh... Wait. Oh, oh, go, oh, oh. Let me see. How do I deactivate this? Oh! Oh, right. I'll just do that. Nice and straightforward. You know, I'm pleasantly surprised that my new Xbox controller works in this game at all, given, you know, 2011. As a, the base components, I mean. No, this is not at all what I thought. Um... Ow, ow, ow! My leg. I'm a moron. What am I doing? What am I doing? Oh! Oh! Yeah, that's the ticket. Did I line it up right? I did, but then I forgot about that one! Oh my god, am I a moron? Have I just totally left my brain at home today? Okay, I didn't know that was even an option. Up and down, I mean. Oh, embarrassing. I didn't expect to, you know, get um, stuck in the tutorial area. Okay. Okay! Oh, except in order to... God damn it, what is wrong with me? How do I get all three of these? Because if I move the thing over there, then it will just cut off the beam from that one, and... Well, this is not annoying at all. I need to get all three of them. Yes. Yes, I do. Okay... All right. Ow, 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 ow. And those things do not redirect them, they just keep continuing in a straight line through them. Oh. Well, why didn't you say so? I forgot. Okay, okay, that's what I was forgetting. It goes through the glass. Because it's light. So if... Of course it fucking does. Jesus Christ, burning dog face, get a grip. Yes, I know this experiment will go without any problems. I can see it in you. 
Pick up the device and let the vacuum delivery system take us to the first test involving paint. Okay. Uh... D did I get it? Uh huh. It keeps moving the mouse to the center of the screen. I find that annoying. No, it's cursor, I mean. I've, I'm pretty sure... Oh, neat. Pretty sure I've set the, uh... The dealy. The recording program, yes, that's a word I was trying to remember. Words I was trying to remember. Uh, to not actually record the mouse cursor, so, you know. It shouldn't bother you. Okay, I know you're wondering what you were holding. Don't worry, it'll all make sense as we progress. Um, hmm, let me see... There. Okay, just go through the door now. I'm gonna pull one of the triggers. Well, I can make it make a pleasant beeping noise. Kind of like a com like a halfway between a beep and a hum. I tried both triggers, and suddenly they both make the same noise. So I'm gonna need blue paint for this one. Is that what that is? Oh, this emancipation grill looks uh, dangerous. All right, why don't you try firing your gun? See what happens. Let me just check my fillings first. Okay, we're good. Uh, shoot the blue one. If you were going to make it R, why did you put it on the left? That's going to bug me forever now. This is the stretchy, no stretchy, the bouncy one, right? In case you haven't noticed, the exit is over the wall. You know what? Yeah, that's right. It changes your properties while you're standing on it. It isn't just a bounce pad. Much better! Now, uh... You solved that really fast. Now, this next chamber should offer more of a challenge for us. Who's us, buddy? Also, who the hell are you? He doesn't sound like a robot, but then neither did Wheatley, did he? So I'm about the least street person you will find. What the hell? I wasn't even moving forward. I just wanted to test that. Oh my god, I'll cover the whole damn thing and... There! Big target. All right, I'm bouncing. Why did I have to choose a test subject at random. I should have listened to. Uh, is this thing on? Yep. Whatever. Continue testing. But uh, I happen to know, at very at the very least, that the action of uh, putting uh, graffiti art on the side of something is called tagging. So you know, aperture tag. In case you were wondering, I don't think we're going to be, you know, chasing a group of children around. Boy, that came out creepier in my, uh, in my, uh, than I meant it to, is what I was going to say. I was trying to, starting to say, uh, than I, than it was in my head, but then I it's said it all wrong. And... Just use the paint gun to reach the exit. It's not that difficult, I think. Never actually held a gun before. As it appears, I actually don't have, uh... Arms. So that's unfortunate. Okay, one of those uh definitely a robot then, but you know. Well, that took you some time. Don't worry though. You're still doing great. I'm Nigel and I will be your testing associate for this testing track. Glad to meet you. Um to test subject name here. Yeah. Guess you forgot to fill that up. Don't worry, I'll get that checked. <laughs> This is really soothing for some reason. I don't understand why, but I enjoy this. 
As I recall, when I played Portal 2, I always had this strange compulsion to cover as much of the level in paint as I could using the portals. I feel like this is going to make that much, much easier. It will be difficult to reach those out-of-the-way areas, though. Nice. Then again... What's with the purple grill? That doesn't make the paint I've already placed disappear. Thought I was uh, stuck for a second there. Oh! Oh, I can't use the paint thing outside of that testing chamber. Interesting. All right, uh, fine, fine, into the hole I go. Hello? Damn it! I just learned that. What was I thinking? In case you haven't noticed yet, that green field, the Aperture Science Paint Gun Activation Field, also known as Fizzler, will activate and deactivate your paint gun. Okay. Ah, yes, this crap. I actually forgot about that. I mean, you know, when it's just an obstacle, it doesn't really seem that important, does it? There was a zoom button. Oh, well, that wasn't it. <laughs> ah, it's R! Well, RB, but you know. Hmm. So the only advice I have for this one is do not drink the water. Seems like a good call, given that it's the color of gravy. I'm pretty sure it's actually acid, for the record. I am not, in fact, a fool. And I say that because it kills the robots that fall in, too. In fact, they just kind of spaz around for a second and then violently explode. Way ahead of you. I mean, okay, the graphic isn't perfect, but again, mod. Oh, I see. I got a Prince of Persia my way up. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Boy, that's a lot more disconcerting in first person. I don't know how His Majesty you know, keeps track of where the hell he is. Mind you, he isn't just randomly bouncing around like a hapless idiot. He's, you know, running along the walls and shit. So, I don't know. I'm just babbling to myself at this point. And there goes the timer, somehow. Hmm. Time flies when you're babbling to yourself and painting the walls like some kind of uh, interior decorator. Defeated. Um. So, yeah. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play Aperture Tag. When we uh, continue hanging out with Nigel and try very hard not to fall into the gravy. Later!